Back, Andrew Kirk here for a Kirk video blog. Blogspot.com. Going to give week two picks. It is Wednesday afternoon, around 4:37 exactly. Uh, week one, I did pretty good. Um, a lot of close games. So I mean, I lost a couple of close ones. I could have had more wins, but I went nine and six, so not too bad. So let's start with the games tomorrow night. Um, Bills taking on the Jets. Both my fantasy running backs, LaShawn McCoy and Matt Forte, going head-to-head. And I like Buffalo on this one over the Jets. I think uh, Rex, Ryan and his, Rex Ryan and his team uh, gets it done. Moving down, the li- moving down the list of Bengals and Steelers. Battle of two 1-0 teams as Steelers blew out, blew out Washington on Monday night. And since he won a close one against the Jets, Hinesfield, unless it's unless it's a team that's as good as them, let me let me take it back. More more times than not, I'm picking the Steelers to win at Hinesfield, and that's what I'm going to do with this one. Picking Pittsburgh to win, Tennessee at Detroit. Lions won a four point game against the Colts last week. I'm going Detroit on this one. Baltimore, Cleveland. Uh, as you guys know, RG three is out, more than likely out for the year. Um, Josh McNown is going to be the starter for that reason. I'm going Baltimore. Uh, Cle- Cleveland fans, you should be very worried about this season. You guys probably will be beginning for a uh, top pick next year. Unfortunately, I'm a Niner fan, so I don't have. I, I probably don't have much room to talk, but it looks like Cleveland is going to be in for a rough season. Going down the list for Dallas and Washington, uh, another NFC match, NFC East match for the Cowboys, and I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with uh, Washington on this one. I think they bounce back from uh, their blowout loss to to uh, Pittsburgh, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Washington. Saints against the Giants. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Giants. Um, even though Brady did very well in week one, not Brady's Breeze, excuse me, <laughs> Brady didn't play in week one. Uh, Breeze played very well in week one. They only lost by one point right at the end. I am gonna go with Eli Manning at home. I'm gonna go with the Giants. Niners at Panthers. Niners started off the season with the win as I expected them to. Um, I. It's not gonna be the same, unfortunately, against the defending NFC champs. I think Panthers bounce back from that uh, unfortunate one-point loss against the Broncos. Patriots and Dolphins. I'm going to go with the Patriots at home. I think Garoppolo gets it done. Uh, He looked very impressive, as did Garrett Blunt in Week 1. Chiefs at Texans. Both are 1-0. Chiefs got an overtime win against the Chargers in Week 1. Uh, Texans beat Texans beat uh, the Bears in week one, so I'm going to go ahead and pick I'm going to go ahead and pick the Chiefs on the road. I like I like Alex Smith and I like that I like that I've up until last week I never heard of Spencer Ware. And the guy who was playing in fantasy football actually had Spencer Ware on his team, so I kind of got a little bit unlucky there. I thought I thought for sure he'd be on the waiver wire. I'm pretty sure he's on the waiver wire in most fantasy leagues, and a lot of owners picked him up today. Um, down the list to the 1 o'clock games, Seahawks at Los Angeles Rams. I think the Seahawks are going to win this one pretty easily. If Wilson plays, if not, I think the Seahawks will still win. But... Um, Wilson's questionable with the sprain, sprain ankle. I feel like either way, Seattle wins. Arizona at Tampa Bay. Buccaneers are 1-0. Winston looked incredible in week one. Four touchdown passes. Um, Arizona got a loss by one to New England. I'm going Arizona on this one. I think Arizona bounces back. Jacksonville at San Diego. I'm going San Diego on this one. I feel like San Diego 
they were controlling. Uh, that was one of the games that was actually on in my area, San Diego KC. I didn't watch much of it because Raiders game was on at the same time. But from what I, the parts that I saw, they were controlling the game till the end. So uh, I could easily won the first game against uh, Kansas City. But I'm gonna go San Diego over Jacksonville on that one. Uh, Falcons at Raiders. Raiders looked very. Very impressive in their week one when uh, Cooper got 137 receiving yards. Michael Crafty looked very well. Derek Carr looked very good. Uh, that defense is going to be probably the most improved defense this season. They got a very good defense. And I'm going to go normally up until last week. If I would have done the picks before before I watched the Edger Saints game Sunday, I would have picked Atlanta. But I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I'm going Oakland Raiders to win at home, starting two and zero. More power, more power too. I'm a Niner fan, but at the same time, I want to see the Oakland Raiders do well. Going down the list to Colts and Broncos, uh, battle of Peyton Manning's two former teams. Uh, Broncos got squeaked out a win in the opening week against the Carolina Panthers. But I think Andrew Luck bounces back. I think they're going to beat the Broncos on the road. Packers at Vikings. Both are one and zero. Packers beat Packers beat Jacksonville last week. Uh, Minnesota beat Tennessee. I'm going to go with Green Bay on the road. Um, yeah, I don't know who's starting at quarterback this week. If it's Bradford or if it's Hill, regardless, I am going to go with. I'm going to go with Green Bay. I feel like Green Bay is going to. Gonna win uh, the Senate again. The Monday night game. We got Eagles and Bears. You know what? I like the Eagles to win on the road. I sold her field Monday night football. That about wraps it up. So let me go, go down the line on my picks real quick. So Bills, Steelers, Lions, Ravens, Redskins, Giants, Panthers, Patriots, Chiefs, and then the later game, Seahawks, Cardinals, Chargers, Raiders, Colts, Packers, and Eagles. That about wraps up my picks for week number two. Um, a future post I'm going to be doing for the video blog, like I mentioned in my opening post. Um, I'm going to do both my crafts, which is sports and reality TV. After Big Brother 18 finale, uh, we have Big Brother 18 finale uh, next week, as well as America's Got Talent finale uh, tonight. I'm going to rank all the reality shows that I watched this summer, which contains shows like uh, obviously America's Got Talent, Big Brother 18, The Challenge Rivals 3. Uh, there was a show on Fox called Coupled, which I really enjoyed. Um, I'll probably put the, even though the real world wasn't a summer show, I'll probably put the real world, go big or go home in there. Um, and probably American Grid as well, too. So, that's something else to look forward to in the coming week. About wraps it up. You guys can follow me on Twitter at CCGradAKirk. And, yeah. Thanks, guys.